Hello, everybody. Dr. Kari here. And I've been thinking a lot about our brain lately because a lot of what's going on right now has the potential to not be very good for our brain. And so I thought if I made this little three-part series for you to, to remind you about what the brain needs, what can get in the way of what the brain needs, you might be more empowered to make choices that keep that brain healthy right now, right? So we're going to start off with looking at what the brain needs to be healthy, okay? So one, one of the things that everybody knows a brain needs is oxygen. And that's one of my concerns about us masking for so many, so long now, what we're heading into a year and a half or something, is that um, our amount of oxygen that we're getting actually goes down. And I was thinking about it the other day, and I was wondering if when somebody is acidic inside, um, wearing a mask can really be uncomfortable because you already are in an imbalanced state where your oxygen ratio to your CO2 is out of balance. Um, and then I was wondering if the people who don't mind wearing masks so much, maybe they're people who are more alkaline. And anyway, because when you wear a mask, it's like putting your, your, your mouth into a, a, a paper bag and breathing in and out, your CO2 levels go up and it actually can balance you out a little bit. Anyway, just looking for, I'm always thinking of what's going on, you know, in, in these bodies and in these minds. So a brain needs oxygen. Without oxygen, brain cells will start to die. That's why we can't survive more than a few minutes, you know, technically. I mean, there are people that do, but more than a few minutes before we start to suffer um, brain damage without oxygen getting to the brain. Um, our brain needs some form of energy to run itself. So it runs, its, either it's running itself off of glucose or it's running itself off of ketones. Ketones is the backup system. A lot of you have heard of the ketogenic diet. That's training the body to run off of ketones instead of running off of glucose in order to provide energy to the brain. And sometimes in cases of like like Alzheimer's and some other imbalances, we actually intentionally do that because they're thinking that Alzheimer's is a little bit like diabetes of the brain where the brain can't run off of glucose. It's not working. So brain cells are dying. So they go ahead and they um, train the body to run off of ketones instead to help correct the problem. Then um, the other thing that the brain needs is sleep. And why does a brain need sleep? It's because during those sleep hours, it's when the brain flushes out toxins, right? And a lot of the health problems that we're seeing are a buildup of plaque in the brain where toxins are literally building up in there. So if you don't have proper bl uh, blood pressure and you don't have proper blood flow to the brain and then you're not sleeping, those toxins aren't getting flushed out. And so the brain starts to, to get these plaque buildup and can lead to some of these diseases that you you've heard of and then the last thing that the brain needs it well not the last thing but the brain needs stimulation you've got to be using it and right now we're not getting our brain stimulated very much because we're not necessarily in environments that are changing often we're not traveling like maybe as much as we used to we're not getting out as much as we used to we're not meeting as new many new people we might be watching reruns on tv more than 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 normal um, we might be having conversations sort of with the same people and so brain stimulation is an important part of keeping that those brain synapses firing um, and keeping that brain it's called plasticity um, happening where the brain is still forming new neural pathways. Yeah. So that's a super important piece. And then of course, nutrition, we've got to have the nutrients. We've got to have the essential fatty acids, the minerals, um, the protein that the brain needs in order to keep itself healthy. Right. So during these times, a lot has changed that is affecting us to where we're not getting this, the brain um, nourished in the way that it should be. So we're going to stop here and I want you to like start to think about what you might be doing differently that may not be supporting your brain health or what you might be doing differently that might be supporting your brain health. And then in our next video, we'll talk a little bit about um, what uh, is getting in the way of our of our brain uh, health, particularly in today's times. Stay tuned for video two.